What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a funny story from my recent job interviews. As you guys might know, I'm going into a new career which is security guard and eventually I'm going to be going for CBSA which is Canada's border and I basically had a few job interviews this past week which at the end of one was extremely funny and that's the story I'm going to be sharing with you today. But at the end of the day, I ended up getting a job which I'm extremely excited to start and I will be sharing that with you guys in future videos, maybe how my first day went and stuff like that. But today is just the story time of my first job interviews this past week. So this past week I had a job interview on Thursday which is an hour away from where I live and while I was getting ready to go to the job interview, I was basically getting dressed, just got out of the shower, I got a phone call to go to another job interview the next day. So I was extremely excited because I was getting more and more leads on job interviews and the next week I had a lot of job interviews planned but this was me going to my first job interview in six years, my first job interview for security guard. So I got ready, drove all the way to the job interview, went in for the job interview, and personally I think it went great, it went awesome, and then I left the job interview. They basically told me it will be about a week until I hear back from them, so I decided I'm going to continue going to all my job interviews because the first job interview I went to is basically where I wanted to work. It was high pay, it was yes working weekends, yes working nights, not a lot of hours to start, but I'll be able to pick up shifts whenever they're available, and over the summer I'll be full-time guaranteed. So it was a lot more potential to grow, but just by the odd chance that I didn't end up getting this job, I wanted to have a backup plan just in case, so I went to other job interviews. So I went for a job interview the next day, about an hour away, it was about the same distance, but it was in the opposite direction. So whenever I went there, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of overwhelmed because it wasn't, it was supposed to be a job interview, but it wasn't really a job interview. I wasn't really asked that many questions. They basically were just hiring me on the spot without even talking to me. So I was really not knowing what to do, but I wanted to be realistic and take this job also just in case the one at the casino, which is the first job interview, just in case I wasn't going to get hired there, wanted to have this as a backup. But yeah, it was kind of, uh, I, I don't even know how to word it. It was just overwhelming. It wasn't what I expected. I was expecting to go into a job interview and they're basically hiring me. They gave me the uh, rundown of the building, rundown of what the job's going to be like. They had me try on a uniform to make sure it fit. And then at the end, they gave me the uniform to take with me and I was supposed to be starting on Sunday. This was Friday, by the way, and they wanted me to start on Sunday, start the training. And I was like, okay, I'll do this because I was thinking that I'm not going to hear from the casino for another week because I just had the interview the day before. So I said, okay, that's fine. I'll start my training on Sunday. Um, and, and that's basically it. I basically left and I had to do some shopping while I was in that city anyway. So I went to uh, the dollar store. I went to Walmart. And whenever I got out of Walmart, there was actually a funny story while I was in Walmart and uh, I might as well share it too. I had to get my photo taken for my firearms license. Went into Walmart and the photo studio was all in black, but everything else was open by the front door. So I basically asked one of the employees if it was open today, because I just wanted to know. And she said, yes, they're just on lunch. They'll be back at two o'clock, which meant I had to wait for half an hour. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna wait for half an hour. Waited the half an hour, went through the cash. They still weren't open. I went up to customer service and they told me that, no, they've been closed the whole day. Both employees called out with the flu. So I'm like, what the hell? So I'm. she explained it that there's another store nearby that does the photos, go to them. So I was like, okay. But whenever I left Walmart, that's when this story got extremely funny. Whenever I left Walmart, I realized that I missed a call from the casino and I thought it was odd that they were calling me back. Maybe they, I thought that they may need more information because they told me I won't hear back for another week on whether or not I got the job. So I assumed they just needed more information. So I tried to get a hold of them and I didn't hear anything from them. 
So I went to the other store to get my photo taken. And at that point, I was just going to go home. I had nothing else to do in that city, but I ended up calling home and talking to my parents. And then I tried to get in contact with the lady from the casino again. And I just tried calling and calling and checking my emails because she said if she didn't hear back from me, she was going to send me an email and let me know what's going on. So I was basically trying to hear from them and trying to get in contact with her. I eventually got in contact with her and that's whenever she told me that I got the job, which I'm extremely happy for. It's the job that I wanted to go for. Not that the other one was bad, but the other one had less pay and was extremely boring. And at the casino, there was a lot more to do, higher pay, and I get pay raises and stuff like that. So I would benefit a lot more for working at the casino than I would at the other job, which was a warehouse job. So after she told me that I got the job, we set everything out. She told me how everything's going to go. I expect to see a few emails to get things started. I ended up having to go back to where I just had the job interview that day at the warehouse and give them back the uniform that they gave me because I thought I was going in for an interview, but it ended up just going in to pick up a uniform and they didn't even ask me any interview questions. And the questions that they did ask me, I would start to answer them. And they would finish off the answer for me because they had my resume there. So it was very, it wasn't professionally done. It wasn't done right. I would have taken the job if I wasn't going to get hired at the casino because the casino told me it will be about a week until I hear back from them. Let me know whether or not I get the job. So I was going to start the training on this job uh, until I heard back from them. And if I wasn't hired at the casino, I would accept this job here. But yeah, I got the job the next day at the casino. That's when they informed me I got the job. So I had to drive all the way back another 20 minutes through this city to go back to the warehouse to give them the uniform back. I basically walked up to the door. They buzzed me in. They're like, uh, what's going on? And I'm like, yeah, I had to take another job that was closer to me, which I lied because they're about the same distance. But I'm like, yeah, I had to take another job. Uh, I'm really sorry. And they're like, yeah, no problem. In my opinion, they were extremely pissed. They didn't really know what to say, but I thought it was just hilarious that I had one interview the day before. They told me a week. I go to the next interview the next day. I missed the phone call uh, from the casino, which was the first interview. Then when I get a hold of them after I left and took the uniform with me, then they tell me I got the job and I had to go and return the freaking uniform to the second interview I went to. I thought that was just hilarious. Um, I told my parents that, I told my best friend that, and to me, it was just a really funny story that I had to share with you just because, number one, I wasn't expecting to go into the second interview and not necessarily get the job because I assumed I would have done great in the interview, but I wasn't expecting what I got. It wasn't really an interview. It was just showing what the job's going to be like and telling me that I got hired, so... I, I, it wasn't what I expected and I'm glad I'm not working there because they were extremely pushy on me with this job. So I, I don't think I would have enjoyed this job at all. The casino I'm going to enjoy. So this is my story time of my first two job interviews and also what happened at Walmart. But uh, to me, I thought it was just hilarious that I accepted the second job. I took the uniform and then that's when I was informed that... I ended up getting the job I wanted at the casino and had to take the uniform back. I thought that was hilarious. Um, I don't think they were too impressed at the second job, but at the end of the day, I have to do what's best for me. I benefit more working at the casino. I get uh, discounts for local stores. I get job. I, I get pay increases. I will be able to pick up more shifts. So I'm extremely happy going through uh, going to work at the casino. I'm extremely happy for that and I can't wait to start. It's going to be a couple weeks because I do need to get one license before starting working there, which I'm okay with. But uh, yeah, I just can't wait to start and I just had to share this story with you guys. So I'm going to leave this video here. hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.